Hello and welcome to the Alpha Software Demo and Q&A webcast. I'm Dave McCormick, VP of Product Management here at Alpha Software. And today I have a very cool presentation for you, which involves AI and chat GPT. Uh, but I'm also here to answer questions. So you could type those questions into the questions box of the GoToWebinar control panel. You could also send them to guides, G-U-I-D-E-S at alphasoftware.com. So let's begin. I'm going to begin like we do every week and just asking someone from the audience to let me know whether or not you could see my screen and you can hear my voice. You should see something which says large language model on your screen. Excellent. We are all good. Wonderful. Thanks very much. All right, so I got a video uh, sent to me by Robin Bennett from Start Software. Many of you have seen him present here uh, on our Wednesday webinars before. I got it at the beginning of the month. And he said, look at this cool thing that I did with ChatGPT. I actually got ChatGPT to build out transform forms for me. I just have to ask it, just tell it the kind of form I want. And it actually does all the work of building and creating all the codes and everything. And I thought that, wow, this is really cool. So it's a short video that he sent me and I'm gonna play that video for you now. It goes about four and a half minutes. Now, sometimes the videos don't come through for some of you, uh, in which case, please just be patient for about four and a half minutes uh, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you everything that he did in that video uh, and how you can try it yourself at home. I think it's gonna be a very cool demonstration. So I'm gonna go ahead onto the video. And we will begin. Oh, standard rule applies. Sometimes videos are louder than the actual webinar. So if you've got headphones, just be prepared with that volume switch. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dave. I've been experimenting with creating transform form designs. Uh, with the power of ChatGPT behind it. Um, I've been experimenting with various prompts and I think I'm getting somewhere now. Uh, so what I've done in this particular prompt, I, in this sort of chat, I've been explaining to ChatGPT how the quick start codes work. Um, so here I've said, and this is now what I'm able to do. So using this guide, create a list of quick start field codes to help me build a form to capture information about building defects. Okay, that's so that's, that's what I've typed in, given that I've already trained it to understand the, uh, the codes. And it's created me this. So if I just copy that, paste it in here, if I just have pasted it in here, that's actually not bad. Um, not bad at all. So if we just cancel that and do it again, Let's try a different one. I'm doing this live and I've not um, uh, I've not rehearsed, so anything could happen at this point. Okay, are you using the uh, Information about litter on roads. Let's try something as generic as that. Yeah. So let's see what it comes up with. Looking good. So if I now just copy that and paste that in there, let's see. So it looks like there's a must be a bug in here because it's not actually yeah. showing it there. Um, can't actually see what that is. He just needs to hit the refresh button. Just to try again. Oh no, there we go. It's fine. Yep. So that is pretty cool. That's very, very, very cool. Let's try another one. So if I add an, uh, so if I just go back and create another one, let's try a different one this time. Uh, let's think of something else. And now a form to collect information about asbestos samples to right 
Let's see what it comes up with here. It's looking pretty good. So you can see where I'm going with this. I'm wondering whether you might consider putting this into transform. I think it'd be a killer feature. So essentially, uh, let's just copy that through and see how it's done here. Right, that's not bad. It's nowhere near detailed enough, but I mean, I didn't really give it much um, much information, but it's not bad and it looks like it's syntactically correct. So I think you would have the feature here. So you'd either have select yeah. template, copy selected, add blank, or uh, add a, like an AI option. So a fourth option, add with AI. Or you could put it here on, so if I add another blank, you can actually have it here, couldn't you? That's another option. So you could have an AI button here, which would then ask you for a prompt, which would be this. I believe so. Um, well, in fact, it would just be asbestos samples according to that. That's all you'd need to, to pass through. And then that would generate, auto-generate your quick start text. Um, obviously, I'm happy to share with you how I trained it, but you, it's not rocket science. All it did I essentially was share with ChatGPT your quick start guide, how to use the quick start feature. Um, but that's pretty cool, I would say, and I think would be an awesome feature for you to launch. Um, let me know what you think. Thanks. All right, let's just go back to the main screen here. So I was pretty impressed with that. I think probably a lot of you were as well. And my first question was, okay, that's cool. Now, how, how did he actually do that? And can I do that? So today we're gonna be taking a look at really what Robin did in order to train ChatGPT to create these transform forms. So what he did was he went into Alpha Transform and he went into the quick start area uh, with transform. And up there, there's a button where it normally lists out all of the form commands on the left. There's a button which says full help. So we just simply clicked on full help and just copied everything that was in this window into the clipboard. Then we went over to ChatGPT. Now he was using uh, version four of ChatGPT. I'm using the free one, which is uh, 3.5, but it worked just fine for me. So what we did was we started a chat GPT guide. And if we look back at the instructions, you'll see it just says full quick start to help text. And then it says stuff like uh, lines of text to find the form elements to use quick start text, oops, to use quick start text. Uh, you enter lines of text into the text box in the middle of the screen. So blah, blah, blah. So we literally just cut and pasted that in. To use quick start text, you enter lines of text into the box. So we just pasted that straight into chat GPT. And that made up the first prompt. We actually broke this down into three different prompts. The first prompt told ChatGPT how you go about making a quick start guide, this, uh, a quick start text. The second one was a list of all the different uh, commands that you could use, like all the different field types, uh, audio, signature, photo, and so on. And then the third request, the third prompt, was actually asking to build the form itself. So we can actually, I've actually shared this with you. Take a look at this URL, bitly, it's a bit.ly link, bit.ly forward slash ATFGPT. So alpha transform GPT, ATFGPT, all capital letters, because that's how bit.ly links work. If you go there, it's gonna actually bring up a screen that looks just like this. And you too can just copy that text there and paste it off into a text document like I did. So when I pasted it into a text document, I saw the stuff that he did and I divided it up into the three different prompts. So after I pasted in the first prompt and the second prompt, I came back and said, okay, uh, please use this to help me capture information about building defects, basically the same test that Raman did. And sure enough, it created a bunch of code. It's funny, it labels it Ruby code. It doesn't really know that it's transform code. I guess it's just doing its best guess at that. But I copied that code to the clipboard and pasted it into quick start text. And look at that, it built out the full uh, defect report. It even has headings, it's got buttons, it's got photo fields, audio, text, all kinds of cool things like that. 
which I am very impressed by. I did not have to tweak this at all. I pasted it directly in and that's what I got. Okay, well, that's kind of like a simple one. It, it just made up the stuff for the building defect report, defect report. But recently, we had one of the people in our sales team come to us and ask us if we had done work with a particular regulation that's going to be coming up in the U.S. called Section 1.1330, which is regulates uh, basically how food is shipped to grocery stores and warehouses and things like that. And the point is to increase uh, traceability and accountability so that, for example, if there's an E. coli outbreak someplace, they'll know, okay, what farm did that come from? Where else did other uh, products from that farm go to? And, and we might be able to do a better job of uh, tracing back and eliminating those sorts of dangers. So this hasn't yet been enacted, but it is a new uh, regulation that is coming up. And so everyone, so a bunch of people are now going to have to start filling out forms for this section 1.1330. So I said, well, what the heck? Why don't I just pop over to uh, ChatGPT and say, why don't you go ahead and make me uh, a form for uh, regulation 1.1330? So it did its best and it didn't really know anything about 1.1330 as it turns out. It just said section number, compliant status, compliant, not compliant. I mean, it just, it just did its best, it made it up, but clearly had no real information about that. So I simply went back to the website and I copied all of the stuff in here, all of the requirements that were required for the field, for the form, and I pasted them in to ChatGPT. Here you go, here's the information about regulation S1.1330 and here's all the information, including date of harvesting, uh, the location, the business name, and so on, everything that was being asked for on that website. And I pasted that in, and look what I got back. I got back some great quick start text right here, right from ChatGPT. I pasted that in, and lo and behold, I had my compliance form. Of course, I didn't stop there. I tried it for all kinds of different things. Like I said, hey, can you build one uh, for a, a landlord to inspect an apartment? And it did a really good job with that one as well. So it's it's really neat, and I really highly encourage you all to play around with this. So again, the uh, so ChatGPT is the place that you're going to go to build these things at. To get the prompt, you're going to go to that Bitly link, which I just passed over. Sorry, Bitly ATFGPT. Copy that, paste that into a text box. And off you go. I think you're going to find that a lot of fun. Just as a reminder, if you forgot how to Let's open up Safari here for a second. And so just in case you've forgotten how to get to quick start text, let's just do that. I'm gonna pop in it to transform.alphasoftware.com. And this is what I would do once I've got uh, my, oops, come on. Well, I often have rendering issues when I am online. Here we go. So I'm gonna uh, log in and I'm gonna say design a form. That's gonna open up the designer for me. Once the designer is open, I'm gonna hit the plus button to create a new form type. I'm just gonna add a blank. And then I would give it a name, like a display name and a form name. After that, I'm gonna click input quick start text. And that's how you do it. And this is basically where you paste in that output from ChatGPT. So that's all I really wanted to cover today. I know it's a pretty short session. I guess I got everything done in about 15 minutes, but do we have any questions? And if not, I'd just like to remind you that if you do have questions on this or anything else, send them over to guides, G-U-I-D-E-S at alphasoftware.com. Wonderful, well, that looks about it. Thanks so much for joining me today. Look forward to seeing you at our next Wednesday webinar. Until then, take care and stay well. Bye-bye.